Hey there, Fallout here, and today, because you requested it, I'm going to share my experience of building my very first ever gaming and streaming PC. This is for those of you who are interested in doing the same thing, but are unsure about where to start. Just to clarify, this is a general overview of the entire process. There are specific resources linked in the video description, go check them out. I will not be talking specifically about how to put which parts where, or which parts together, or anything like that, because it all depends on what pieces you order. I am, however, going to show you how I went from thinking, I want to build a PC, to actually getting it done, as a person with literally zero experience in building PCs. Hopefully, I'll also be sharing some good resources and insights that you can take advantage of if you're a first-time builder like me. Okay, part one, you want to build a PC. Cool, building one yourself means you have complete control over what exactly goes in. But where do you start? Out of every resource that was shared with me by my friends, my number one by far is a place called PCPartPicker.com. This is going to sound like a paid plug. It's not, I promise you. Although if they want to throw a few bucks my way, I do have a business email. <coughs> Anyway, here's why they're great. Let's say, hypothetically, you want to build a toy castle. You don't want to build a prepackaged one. You want to build one of your own design. So, you pick a bunch of pieces you think would look really cool from different vendors, and when you get them all in your room and you try to put all of them together, you learn the harsh lesson that some pieces just aren't compatible with the other pieces that you bought. This is apparently the biggest problem first-time PC builders run into. You need to make sure that all your components are compatible with one another, and PC Part Picker has this, a compatibility filter. Friggin' awesome. Once you start picking pieces, it's only going to show you what other pieces you still need to pick that are compatible with what you already have. Can't recommend this enough. So now we come to part two, building your PC on paper. Building a PC is like going down a checklist. Imagine you're a mad scientist, putting together a human, like uh, Dr. Frankenstein or something. You'll need a few things, like a torso, a brain, a heart, and so on. Eventually, you'll put all these components together to create your human, er, PC. What pieces exactly should you get? Well, that is an incredibly deep rabbit hole for you to fall down, and it's all going to be up to you, depending on what your needs are and depending on what your budget is. That's something else. I really recommend setting a budget for yourself before building your PC on paper. If you're interested in what I picked for my build, you can check my PC part picker list in the video description. If there's a specific game you want to make sure you can play on your new PC, definitely look up the system requirements for that game before you start building. This can help guide you a little bit more when putting your machine together on paper. And make sure you do a butt-ton of research when picking these parts, because after all, you want to make sure that you're getting the best possible components for your needs within your budget. Yeah, I know, I'm asking you to do research, and I'm asking you to do your own homework. Big deal, it'll be worth it in the end, trust me. Now, if you're totally lost at this stage and you have no idea what to pick, even after doing your own homework, I recommend checking out another place called Cabal of the Buildsmiths on Reddit. These people will help give you advice if you're looking to build your own PC and you're not really sure what to put into it. As long as you follow the subreddit rules when you post, can't stress that enough, follow the rules, they can help you figure out what components you should be looking at to get within your budget. Check them out. Alright, fast forward. Let's assume you've planned out your PC on paper, you've ordered all the parts, and you have everything you need in your home to build your PC. Now you come to part three building the damn thing. Apparently, a lot of people who have done this before really, really like comparing the whole process to building Legos. Mmm, kinda? PC parts are way more expensive, well, for the most part. Have you seen how expensive Legos are lately? Goddamn. Anyway, yeah, PC parts are way more delicate too. So I'm not gonna lie to you first timers out there, this isn't the hardest thing you'll ever do, but definitely it won't be the easiest. It's like assembling a way more complex IKEA couch. Don't be nervous though, you can get it done. In addition to your PC components, you will need a couple other things when you build. A Phillips head screwdriver, basically your go-to tool. You'll be screwing a few things in place here and there in your PC, 
Don't worry, the screws usually come along with the motherboard, the case, or whatever part that you ordered. But this pretty much puts everything together. A special wristband to prevent static electricity. Sounds dumb. Trust me, very important. If you're touching your motherboard or anything else when you're building and you accidentally give it a static shock, well, guess what? You may have just killed whatever it was that you touched. GG, no re. These wristbands are like three bucks and they prevent that from happening, so just suck it up and buy one. A flashlight, because when you're looking around in your computer case when putting it all together, you want to see exactly what it is that you're doing. Possibly, depending on what kind of cooler you're getting, something called thermal paste. The type of cooler I ordered came with a little tube of thermal paste right there in the box, so check if the one that you're getting ends up coming with that as well. It's basically a special type of paste that you put a tiny little bit on between your CPU and your heatsink to get better heat conduction. And finally, the internet, because if you run into problems when building your new computer, just open up YouTube. There are specific tutorials to everything you're trying to build and put together. I know this is kind of like, duh information, but whatever. Why not remind you that you have a wealth of information at your fingertips? And that's kind of it. Make sure you go into this very, very prepared. Set a budget for yourself. Read as much as you can when determining what components you want to order for your PC, aka do your homework. And then when it's time to build, make sure you've watched a bunch of tutorials in advance and check the manuals for everything. They include instructions which will probably be pretty straightforward usually in picture form. But if you still want a few more resources, then yeah, go ahead and check the video description below because I'm including a few links that I checked quite frequently when putting my machine together. Hope you found all of this helpful. If you did, please be sure to let me know in the comment section as well as throw the video a like. I do appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe for more gaming related content. Happy building everyone. See you next time.